Hello, hi, I am Patricia McNeely. I am a Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? How did you like that moon energy? Now, some good news is if you were feeling that a day or two ahead of time, things are not going to be on the move for you and your other, your other half, your twin flame. Yes, your true twin. Okay. There are some people who have been a bit overly focused on the person who is not really their true twin. Or they're trying to make it work with a soulmate. But if you felt that, especially if you felt it a day or two in advance, there's going to be some activity. Okay. Now, the topic of this particular uh, video is a few things, of course, but we're going into a time frame where a lot of things have to do with the psyche. Now, what is the psyche? The psyche is a subtle body that you share. It's frequently thought of as the mind, but it is not the mind. It can affect the mind. It can affect everything in your body, even down to motor function, even down to little things that people call a deformity, like um, you know, could be like a joint doesn't work properly or something doesn't form properly. So this is going to have a lot to do with the themes of your union and the psyche. So some of the things to know is that the push is on and you will get out of the fourth dimension. This includes lifestyles, addictions, relationships, weapons, defense, perceptions of the ego, and for a lot of people it's going to be money issues. Money issues will come up or they will come up for resolution. Whatever they are, wherever people have been stumped, and sometimes people have been stumped simply filling out a form. Why? Because that will bring things up for them mentally and emotionally. Now, you are a complex being. You're a being that has many parts to themselves and you have connections to many dimensions. And a lot of you revel in that. You're like, da-da, I'm a multidimensional being. But when it's here, right here, right in the nitty-gritty of things, it may not feel good as you are um, preparing yourself, as you are making those connections deeper. Okay, and you frequently will have people going, oh my goodness, now what's going on? What? Is my twin doing on the other end of things? And it may not be your twin doing anything. Meaning it may not be happening in real time. It may be assumed. And then sometimes this is where some of the other stuff, like blame or judgment, starts to come out. Because the mind will want answers. However, you have a body. And that body is trying to get itself ready. And if you don't know, these, is, these are the things that I refer to many times as themes. Themes will be usually defined as mental, emotional things, but they have some kind of cause somewhere. Somewhere. Something's causing it. And a connection to the psyche. Now, the true forgiveness and the connection to the subtle bodies is what I discussed and teach about in my webinars, the above part of you for you both and discernment, okay? So a lot of people are saying, hey, uh, what's my twin up to? What's going on on the other end? Or even worse, my twin told me off and I, that's it. I've had it. I just, you know, I can't. But where does that anger well up from? And why are you bearing the brunt of it? Why? Where, where, what, what's, what's the cause? What did you do to deserve that? You didn't deserve that. You didn't deserve that. However, where does it come from? Oh, another day with these headaches. I just, I don't know, and my shoulders ache, and I, I was feeling sensations in my groin, and it, it just doesn't feel good. I, I just don't know what's going on. And what's going on on the other side of the union? You've got one on one side, you've got one on the other. But guess what? The body has 
some things that it needs to take care of. What do you do about it? Are you learning about your body? Are you learning about your subtle bodies? Are you learning how to transmute things? Are you learning how to push things away from you and to you too? Are you learning how to maintain? Are you doing the things that pertain to both of you? Because there is going to be a key difference between some of the things you may have learned. Okay? You've been flying solo for lifetimes. Especially this lifetime. Now there's two of you. And you wanted two of you. So now what are you going to do about it? Time to learn. Time to learn more. And so with this push on... You know, you may have someone who has addictions and they have a better relationship with their drug dealer than they have with you. Why? Because that's what has been the priority, usually for lifetimes, until it's, it's in there. It's what we call a pattern or we call it something that's been embedded or we call it something that has been um, implanted. It's a plant. But it's actually now down to a habit and a behavior, okay? Do you and your twin have discernment? As you continue here, you are expected to have the discernment as it pertains to your union because we're heading into a timeline split here. And there are going to be people that are on next year's timeline and there are going to be people that are on the timeline for towards the end of this year. We're in November right now as I'm speaking. And the this, this solstice is coming up here pretty quickly. I mean, how many of us can believe it's already... Who can believe it's already November? I mean, in some ways this year flew by. And that's a good thing. It enabled you to shut the door on a lot of things. But are you shutting the door? Are you knowing how to shut the door and seal yourself up? Are you knowing how to draw the higher energies down and into your body? Because that's important. If you continue trying to get high in the old ways, that's going to be felt. Okay? If one smokes weed and the other one doesn't, guess what happens? Things like brain fog. And it's going to get worse. Okay? It's not going to get easier unless you take some action. It's time to put some skin in the game. Lifestyles, okay? Some people meet their twin and they believe here because of lifestyles that have been that they can maintain a three-way relationship with someone they're with, maybe a spouse or um, some other, or they can have other people in their life. No, that was a fourth dimensional thing. It's not that way anymore. Weapons. Can you threaten people with weaponry? Well, people still do. People use all kinds of weapons. They use poisons. They use spells. They use curses. They tell people off. They believe that other people are doing things to them, and they get angry, and then that anger goes ding, 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 bing, 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 bing. Okay? And no, that's not intended to. Defense, perceptions of the ego. The ego will want to protect you, but the ego is a very small part of you, and it is one of your subtle bodies. That, too, is frequently thought of as the mind. Oh, my twin was all up in his ego, or she was being very egoic, and it's thought of as the mind. No, that has been a part of you to protect you here. But to protect you from the environment, to warn you, to help you sense things. So, when I have this information here, the above part of you is trying to get into both of you to properly help you with discernment. Because as you go through that timeline split, you're going to be different than the other kids on the playground. Okay? And you're going to be able to say, you know, one of these things is not like the other. And some of the stuff will continue in what we call 3D. You're going to see it. How do you get yourself and your twin away from it so that you're not being affected? Through your body. Your body, your body. You have a body, okay? You have several subtle bodies. You have five. That subtle, Those subtle bodies have chakras. 
Those subtle bodies have more than seven chakras. Those subtle bodies have joint connection points for each other. Those subtle bodies also have channels. And that is what I teach. That is what I have in my webinars is channel opening exercises and meditations to help you ease through this. Okay. Rather than be dragged along, you know, scraping the bottom here, you know, ah, because that hurts. That hurts. I'm a firm believer in things not hurting. Get the pain out. Pain is a motivator. Okay. Pain motivates people for a lot of things, but we don't like pain. Pain is a warning. Pain is not your friend. I remember I was at the park one day and there was a gentleman there with his little girl and she hurt herself. And the little girl had to be two or maybe three years old, maybe three. And she hurt herself and she started crying. And he kept saying to her, pain is just resistance leaving the body. Pain is just resistance leaving the body. And he was very calm and he was trying to be reassuring. I don't know where he got that from. If it was from his dad or from his drill sergeant or from his uh, dojo or from some other place like the internet. I don't know. But I could see all the little girl wanted was a hug. Now there was some good stuff there. There was a dad taking time with his child. Taking the child to the park. Paying attention to the child when the child hurt. But it had to go to that next level. And that's where some of you are at now. It needs to go to that level of sweetness and softness and enjoyment. And not some of the things that the pains or the resistances that are leaving your body. It's fine and dandy when someone tells you, hey, that's just stuff leaving you. Okay, yes, you you can actually now feel it leaving as it's going. But you want to hug. You want to feel again. You want to feel the love. You want the love to rush into the channels of your body and feel good. Now, some of the things that are going to happen with this timeline split is the other feeling. And yes, they will feel a series of physical sensations that will really possibly, depending on the person, make them feel like they are losing it. Losing it, okay, and what do you do about that? There are things to do through your subtle bodies which I teach, and it's incumbent on you to learn this, to learn it. So, in order to help you with this, I already do have several things lined up here. I have a live Psyche webinar. This is an online event for November 9th, which is this in this week here that I'm recording, at 8 a.m. This is good for people in the UK, Europe, in the United States. If you're in California, this is your 6 a.m. You can start your day uh, with this. Uh, we run about two hours. The format is a presentation of information. I open the floor for questions and answers and... I lead you into opening your channels and communicating, which I call communing with your twin. There is another one I'm doing um, on the 10th. That is a Friday evening here in Chicago. It is uh, the next morning in Australia. It is uh, afternoon in Hawaii, and it's about 5 on the West Coast, November 10th. Or the following week, November 16th, and this will be new material. Each week is new material. 16th, 8 a.m., 18th, 7 p.m. That's a Friday. This is a Thursday. Thursday morning, Friday evening. The links are below or on my website at www.twinflamesmerge.com. Now, I am doing an in-person, live healing, hands-on body work, twin flame class. Okay, so if you've attended things that are like a meetup or a group or something like that, this is different. This is hands-on, where I get hands-on with you. I show you things. We will be learning about opening the channels and maintaining the body. We're going to learn about pulling your twin in. That's a lot of people, things people don't know about. Okay, so if you um, 
If you are in the Chicago area or coming to Chicago, this is a live class at my studio on the 18th and 19th. It is running from 9 till 4. So that's Saturday or Sunday. Okay, it's the same material each day, whatever day you can make it. Saturday, it's like an all-day intensive workshop. You will walk away feeling balanced. You will walk away feeling that you have mastered some of your energies and with the awareness of empowering you. I would like to see people feel empowered, okay? And a lot of times when we go through these energies, people start searching around. They don't always know what they can do with their own body because you have a body and it's time to learn how to use it because you want your bodies together. That's the reason we're doing it right here at this level, right here, right here at ground level, right down to the last little God particle of both of you touching each other. How else are you going to have the deep intimacy? Do you even know how to make each other kitty purr? Do you know about magic fingers? Do you know about the tinkling music? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Yet. Yet. So there's a lot of things coming up. There are things, there are ways that you're going to know this is not tantric. This is not anything. This is actually going to be you helping each other and feeling each other. Okay. And the feeling begins now. Okay. So if you've lost that lo loving feeling, if you feel like you uh, lost your twin, you're saying, I don't know, I can't feel my twin anymore. There's reasons for it. And one of the reasons may be, are you sure that that person was your twin? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe you're starting to have doubts because of this, okay? And additionally, to further help you, um, from November, this is still pertinent for the energies of November, particularly the 11 gate. The 11 gate, the 11, 11 gate that a lot of people talk about, I mentioned that in the text below my last video, okay? You started feeling it last week with that moon energy, okay? So that's good news because when that 11-11 comes, you'll feel more sensations while other people might be looking at their clock saying, hey, nothing happened. It started happening last week in anticipation of this moon energy. You're still in a Uranus retrograde, okay? You're still going to have a, an influence there of the masculine and electric feminine getting cleared. Okay, that means all of this stuff and more. It could be more. But it primarily has to do with the psyche. So let's not lose sight of this. The psyche, the things that people like to, when they like to analyze their twin. Okay, and when you like to find out, hey, um... What's going on? Maybe it's this, maybe it's that. Maybe it's something much simpler that you can resolve through your body. And so this one, Divine Lover's Cosmic Body Reconnection, right here, this is giving you a clue as to what's going on. How do you do cosmic level stuff from other dimensions? How do you do it? You do it through your body. Okay. And I have several thing, exercises in there for opening up your channels. It primes you for some of what's going to be happening. Also, universally free to fly. This has a lot to do with the mental, emotional parts of you leaving the collective, getting the parts of you that fly together ready. And also, it has to do with how to bring in the higher energies down and into the body. Now, the down and in is how you will perceive things and how you will have those deep intimacies that you really want with each other. You see, you've already lived in an ascended place. You're down here, and while it might seem like it's starting from scratch, you're not exactly starting from scratch here, but becoming adept at drawing your own energies in so you can feel each other and be able to communicate with each other, stay connected, have deep intimacies. That's what you want. That is including the exercise, channel opening exercises for you to get the higher energies 
deeper into the body so you can continue on your trajectory here. So thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you here. The links are below or on my website at www.twinflamesmerch.com. There's a lot more coming up with these energies from November into December. We're heading into a solstice. We're heading into another season change. And this whole year has flown by. I'd like to be able to be of assistance to you. If I can help you, please let me know. I do spirit chat. I do sessions with people. I do body work. I know the body very well. And on top of that, I don't do it with my head. I do it with heart energy and I do it with guidance. Okay, so there's no judgments. There's none of that. There is just how to get you to clear so you can get back to being lovers. As you know, you are and you, as you know, you have been because your heart is telling you. Okay, so thank you. Have a wonderful week. Look for the links. Check it out. I hope to see you there. Okay, have a good day. Enjoy your week, okay? Find something you enjoy. Don't let this journey get you down, okay? Don't, don't let it. This is still your journey. As icky as it might be sometimes, as fun as it might be sometimes. Because a lot of it is fun and should be fun. Okay? Bye now.